That was a chair, I promise. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> welcome back to Do More Things. My name is Freddy. This is Artie. Today, we're going to switch it up a little bit. We're going to watch a show. Uh, we normally watch movies here that I haven't seen, yes. but Artie's seen. Today, we're going to watch a show that I have not seen, but Artie loves, apparently. Did you say not seen, dude? Not seen. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> um, this is True Detective. I have no idea what it's about. I have no idea who's in it, except for Matthew McConaughey, so I'm already excited. Never seen it. Really haven't heard of it. I know Artie, uh, Artie says he likes it a lot. Big fan. Big fan. Big fan. We're going to watch episode one, season one. Hope you guys enjoy the uh, reaction slash review, and we'll get right to it. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Leave a comment. We'll see you on the next one. Saved. <laughs> True Detective. Um, Super. It's like a, what, what are we getting into? It kind of, it kind of jumps right into it. I want to make sure I know the genre so Mark Harris doesn't comment again and get mad at me. <laughs> Firing squad. Is this where the the meme comes from? Smoking, like uh, He's Kanye? always smoking, yeah. Cult ritual. <laughs> you want to hear this or not? There's that meme of him like smoking, like really stressed out. Well, I'm wondering, I'm guessing it's from this show. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong. Possibly, because he smokes a lot. <laughs> that guy's all clean cut. Yeah. Oh, geez, uh, he's Louise. That thing that passes. 523. Dude, bodies in movies always look like gnarlier than I think yeah. they would look like in real life. They go out of the way to make them pale, you know? You never know what the thing's gonna be, do you? A little detail somewhere way down the line makes you say, <gasps> breaks the case. Which type were you? Oh, I was just a regular type dude with a big ass dick. <laughs> Beast. <laughs> I'd offer you a seat, but, uh,. Don't mention it, I, uh, I can't stay. Just spooky, man. Yeah. Unsettling. Prostitute? Mm -hmm. This idea goes way back with him. You got a chapter in one of those books on jumping to conclusions? You attach an assumption to a piece of evidence, you start to bend the narrative to support it. Prejudice yourself. I'm on that guy's side. Mm. Wait and see on the ID. Let me get up. <laughs> You're gonna meet him. I gotta get the door. <laughs> what do you do, man? Dude shows up to your house Might like... Be living on this fucking cringe. moon. It is. <laughs> There's all kinds of ghettos in the world. It's all one ghetto, man. Giant gutter in outer space. It's dark. That's you something. You're Christian, yeah? No. Um, what, what do you got the cross for in your apartment? Uh, it's a form of meditation. It's character, How's man. that? But you're not a Christian, so what do you believe? I believe that people shouldn't talk about this type of shit at work. Hold on, hold mm -hmm. on. Realist, all right, but in philosophical terms, I'm what's called a pessimist. Um, okay, what's that mean? It means I'm bad at parties. <laughs> Let me tell you, you ain't great outside of parties either. <laughs> My luck, I picked today to get to know you. <laughs> Three months, I don't hear a word from you and... You asked. Yeah, and now I'm begging you to shut the fuck up. <laughs> Oklahoma City bomber. Mm. He sounds just like him. He wanted society to have like a bad restart. taste, mama. I don't drink. Oh, no, of course not, Russ. Listen, when you're at my house, I want you to chill the fuck out. Don't even mention any of that bullshit you just said to me. Of course not, Marty. I'm not some kind of maniac, right? 
I mean, you never heard of any shit like this before. She had antlers. Uh, fuck. This is <laughs> this a real thing. Figured I'd work the case. You know. Told you Jillo called or we got an ID. Oh, no. Uh, State Vice gave me some addresses to follow up on. So far, nobody... Nobody talked talk to me. We got a lot lizard. A lot lizard. <laughs> That's what they call them. Truckers, I guess? Uh, oh, shit. I got a shower. We got a debriefing today and then maybe a press conference later. Morning. Well, Marty said he was doing that. He is. Uh, hey, beautiful. <laughs> Morning, baby. <clears throat> Marty, how you want your coffee, doll? Strong and black, just like you. <laughs> Prince came back. Dora She's like, Kelly Lang. <laughs> yes. Prize for, Dora Kelly Lang. Dora Kelly. Prize for shoplifting, possession, and solicitation. Well, he was Address right. Outside of St. Glove Finger. Ideas what any of this means? I don't know. It's all primitive. It's like cave paintings. Maybe you ought to talk to an anthropologist. Planned. And in some ways, it was impersonal. Think of the blindfold. This place is like somebody's memory of a town, and the memory's fading. It's like there was never anything here but jungle. Stop saying shit like that. <laughs> I'm professional. Oh, is that what I'm going for here? Ask about anybody she was seeing. Regular customers, meth dealers, rough johns, anything. Any questions? Crazy how one little thing from like a, you know, someone she knows like, oh, well, there the, was this one guy that said something annoying, like, and then they check up on him and like, you know, it just, yeah. it's funny how some cases are solved by like, simply by just asking the right questions and then yeah. you get a small little lead that you think is nothing, but then it turns out to be like, you believe in ghosts. Now that looked like something my old auntie taught us how to make when I was a tank. What are they? Some folks call them bird traps. Old auntie told us that they were devil nets. You, know, you put them around the bed, catch the devil before we get too close. And that's all we got on the Fontenot girl. Well, there's nothing in here. It's just possible report made in error. Now that was five years ago. Ted Childers was sheriff back then. He's set up in uh, Gulf Shores now, I think. Ten-year-old girl goes missing, that doesn't go statewide. Now, she filed a complaint and then never bothered with it again. Took off with her boyfriend. Complaint these parts around December. Little girl getting chased through the woods. Oh, yeah. I pulled that one for you, too. What the hell is this? Little girl said a green-eared spaghetti monster chased her through some woods. Now, we had her work with a sketch artist, and she told us that looked exactly right. Thursday is one of my days off. On my off days, I start drinking at noon. You don't get to interrupt that. Well, I'll crack a beer, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fight all bill like that for yeah. <laughs> This perpetrator will be apprehended, and he will know swift Louisiana justice. No spoilers, but they keep talk saying he, you know? Let's talk about your ex. That's something. Line. Fucked up. Uh, talking about she met a king. Shit. Anyway. What there? <laughs> Nothing snooty. I've had Lone Star. Mm -hmm. Pretty basic. Looking at new. <laughs> the boy. <laughs> 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 He's sipping on it like it's I'm life talking. juice, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no, like when Thanos put on the, uh... Like, <laughs> oh, no. You know, like he said. could be whatever. Um, yeah, especially when he... Well, uh, Russ, it is so nice When to he says something like, I don't drink, and then you see him like this, it's like, Sorry, fuck, it you know? So long. you gone? Audrey. His <laughs> fucking eyes, dude. Yes. <laughs> you saw people? Amazing. <laughs> And y'all keep eating. He looks a little better. He looks, he looks, he looks worn out, though, man. Yeah. Do you like uh, your job? 
I wonder if he actually like stayed up to like get kind of like. Not exactly. He looks like he has bags, dude. Oh, he's like, hella, yeah. Oh, I'm good at it. That's what I look like most of the time, guys, Not when weird. the lights are off. <laughs> I want. Uh, not anymore. Did you do this while you were married? Very cool. <laughs> you children? These are silly. One. She passed. What do you know about him, Marty? Um, not a lot. He... Baby crushed me. <laughs> he did not want to pick this man's brain. Ooh. Hey, weren't you supposed to get out of here? Thank you. Dinner, Maggie. This looks great. My pleasure. I only get broccoli. Mind your manners. So you, uh, yeah, right? Let go or what? <laughs> no, it's nothing. Can't wait till tomorrow. <laughs> That's uh, what you uh, were uncomfortable. saying before. I worked with Russ Cole for seven years. People change. Relationships change. You stay in touch? No. I haven't talked to Rust in 10 years. You all want to walk through the lane case? Fine. This other stuff, what, what's going on? Sorry. We just heard some stories. Well, personally, I heard he was a ace case man, right? I'd like to understand his process. Process. Sure. Statewide charity drive. This is Detective Hart, Detective Cole. Very, Very good sir. to meet you, officers. Mr. Cole. Your case has a lot of people taking care. Doors locking where they used to not. Ed has been speaking to me about it, concerned. Our stance. Concerned. We've been discussing the viability of a task force to investigate crimes with an anti-Christian connotation. You what? Really? Yes. Price force? What the fuck is this, dude? Positions. But there is a war happening behind things. Looks like one of those mega church dudes. Yeah. Well, he uh, doesn't have a television. Who's that? He? And he's from Texas. He's the fucking governor, Edwin Tuttle. Uh -huh. They're first cousins. Your victim was Dora Lang. But you all checked on Marie Fontenelle. Why? Missing girl, five years gone. Report made in error. She had an uncle who lived nearby. And we'll call it intuition. Something hanging from the tree. <laughs> There's a lot going on, man. There's a lot of uh, a lot of stuff going on. A here. lot of moving parts, yeah. Yeah. Tell us anything about that, Mr. Cope. Yeah, it looks a lot like the one from 95. Well, you knew that already. Yeah, there is specifics consistent to the 95 case. Details they weren't public knowledge. You were off the grid for eight years, right? Show back up here 2010. My question is... How could it be him? We already caught him in 95. Didn't start asking the right fucking questions. BZ. BZ. I wonder what, uh, what drove Matthew McConaughey to, to start a, like a detective show. Probably the, he probably read the script and was like, okay, cool. This sounds like... Well, he's an executive producer. I feel like, did he not write he... Matthew McConaughey smoking? This. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> don't, yeah, don't tell me if you know. It's uh, in the show. Okay. All right, first episode, man. 
Woo. Um. What do you think? So how many so how many seasons are there of this so far? Well, the one with Matthew McConaughey and that's only a season one. It's yeah. just season one. And that's a standalone. How many episodes of, of season one? I think it's like seven episodes. For, Damn. We got six more. A lot of stuff happened in the first season. What can you? What did, what did you hold on to? Like I mean, from the story. The story's great. It's you know the characters are great. I think McConaughey's. Uh, that's why I love the show. Yeah, his, his characters is you know I don't know man something about him you know the way he talks and what he's been through and he's like yeah I don't drink and then you see him like fucked up you can tell he, like he doesn't have a hold on his like you can tell there's a lot there there's a yeah, lot yeah. Of, like he's either like suffering or going through you really feel for him that scene was super awkward the the, the dinner thing it, initially when he showed up I'm like oh this is a nightmare yeah like, yeah 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 so yeah you really feel for him as a character uh, his partner you know kind of like tries to. Because Matthew McConaughey, will, he'll go on these like rants, but his partner will try to will try to like bring him back to like reality. I don't know, like they yeah, work yeah, together yeah. well. Yeah, they vibe together really well. If they were both, you know, the same, it, it wouldn't work. Like the the, the dy- you know, dynamic duo, they vibe well. So yeah, I like yeah. that. Acting's great, the setting's great, the music's great. It's eerie, it's unsettling, and it's a murder mystery, dude. Like murder, who, who, I mean, who, I, who doesn't yeah. like a murder mystery, especially a good one, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, like you said, the 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 dinner scene good acting so it's so good that you can it's palpable like Ugh, you can I taste it, it. you're like, like dude get it the scene over yeah, with no, no i literally was gonna say i was gonna say that a lot can we just can we get, get passes dude oh, it was but like rough. she the 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 wife asked like the most gritty questions like yo are uh, you married he's like no uh do you have a kid yeah. she's like i did and like woody harrison didn't even ask those questions yeah. you know and that's why she tells him he's like yo how much do you know about this guy because he's fucked up you're like Anybody that loses their family member, even probably even going through a divorce, you're not like okay, especially talking about it. Yeah. And you're meeting your partner's wife for the first time, and she asks like those hard hitting questions, which are simple questions you would ask at a dinner table. Yeah. You know, like hey, how, how's your wife? How's your kids? Oh, she, they passed away. And then like it's they allude to it because she kept saying like, um, it's my daughter's birthday. Yeah. And, yeah, he, yeah. and then you're like, okay, where, why isn't he with his daughter right now? And well, then she, I think he, they found the body on his daughter. Yeah, that's, so, that's, why yeah. he, that's why he doesn't so forget just, it. Like, yeah, the roughest day. Holy shit. There's just a lot going on, man. Yeah, so um, we have like we have a killer that does like a ritual, we're assuming. Yeah. yeah. Um, and they don't know why they do it. Um, they figure out the Jane Doe's name. Um, you meet the, the 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 office that they work in. They meet that church guy that has a Christian fucking. His brother's the governor. And his brother's yeah, the governor. Yeah, they got some like big charity Christian dude. Yeah. Their own fucking motives, and, almost yeah, like the real own. world shit, you know. Oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> um, and then the the missing girl, who's like was unrelated to the case, but they kind of follow that. They're like, it's kind of weird. Yeah, maybe there's because something like there. It, and there was something there. There like, was something there, and it, it's it, it it correlates because missing girl gets raped, brutalized. Another missing girl, which is younger, and they're like, yo, this is kind of like a case closed thing, which is unsettling to their detective work. They're like, yo, this is like too shut open case yeah. cu- case closed kind of shit because a lot of them are like that honestly most oh, like run- most runaway cases like it's like family member like in the end so you can it's it's realistic in that sense but and they took a hunch on it and they go to the person's house to talk to this guy and they go to his backyard and they find something yeah you know? uh, um really good man <laughs> <That's> <laughs> tight, yeah. yeah 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 i'm stoked for the uh the second one um i'm stoked for the, yeah, the whole series I, I i'm sure it's gonna be really good uh the storytelling doesn't seem very linear. I feel like it's kind of like Pulp Fiction-y where they'll show you something that happened, mm-hmm. but then they'll show you again. Like, you know, it's not like super linear because we did see that dinner scene first yeah. and they gave you a glimpse of it and then they didn't, you know, they mm-hmm. progress and then they showed it to you again, right? But it was the yeah. same day when he shows up fucked up, yeah. Yeah, and uh, when we're doing the interviews with Woody Harrelson and him with his hair all fucking long with the McConaughey, um, that's 17 years after the case started. Remember they did, yeah. they, he, Woody Harrelson says, we I'm worked for seven him, years. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I haven't talked to him in yeah, ten yeah, years. A min- so yeah. they had a falling out. Um, they Forever, did this yeah. this case, and then McConaughey says at the end, he's like, "How could this be the killer if we caught him in '95?" Yeah, yeah. And I was like, "Okay, wow." But the detectives were asking him, "Yo, you were gone, and now you're here, and we found this body." So the the no, the yeah, they, they, kinda, they were kind of sus, sus, yeah. sus of him because they're like, "Yo, the body was set up. There was no public details of this." You um, knew how you knew how yeah. the body was, so they're kind of like, kind of. Those guys are struggling. That they're, was like a stretch, right? They're but, yeah. I'm I'm gonna I'm, you know I'm gonna say this right now. I could be wrong, but dude, if you're if those guys are struggling for leads, man, if you're gonna bring in an old head and be like, hey man, will you work the case, bro? Where you been, like? Yeah, where you been at? Did you did you fucking copycat the case that you were on? Like yeah, what? Yeah, I think, I, I think that's what they're, they're they're insinuating. No, yeah, that, yeah, yeah I, mean, I got that too. I was like, that's kind of a that's quite the. Uh, but but everything that they're showing you, not from like. Um, 
storytelling but what they're depicting in the show it's trying to almost trick you into thinking like it could be on it you know what because i mean because the way he's talking the way he looks at life and how dark he is how dark he is but he really has nothing to lose nothing even when i watched it the first time i'm like dude mcconaughey i'm no look, i could be wrong but yeah i don't think it's i get i get what you know what they're trying to do yeah but i don't think it could be him he's i don't know i love the show dude much. i watch this every like couple of years uh because j- mcconaughey alone is like the reason oh, i come yeah. back he's, for it he's, but he's the story is, is is awesome as well but i'm glad you like the first episode man i i can't wait to watch more dude I'm, i haven't watched it in a minute so that's why i'm like kind of more stoked to watch this i, I liked it a lot man yeah. four to five four to five sure yeah it's, it's, sick. You know, it's super sick rewatchable you know i'm glad they ended you know and it, it, call me whatever old-fashioned or call me you know I'm, I'm glad they ended on a really good note because Breaking Bad used to do that a lot too. Yeah, yeah. They would end, and not it's not really a cliffhanger, but it's like, a, hey, here's a banger. You need you, to see the you next didn't even watch that. So, okay. Imagine watching this live, you know, like waiting week to week. Yeah, You're going to be yeah, like, yeah. it's Sunday. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, <laughs> you know? No, yeah, it's tight, man. Yeah, it's yeah. Uh, I'm stoked you liked it, man. I like it a lot. I would say the first episode, four out of five, good setup. You get to meet characters. And they, like the the whole driving scene is like, yo, you a Christian? And then it's just like a can of worms. Yeah, yeah. just comes out. That was a huge can of worms. <laughs> He's like, I think the human conscience was a, was <laughs> a mistake. mistake. Yeah. <laughs> That's very Ted. Uh, I forgot to say his last name, but the Oklahoma City bomber, or whatever. He has a whole manifesto about like technology ruined us, and we got to start over. We got to restart society. And if it came out very Ted since since I forgot. I, I wouldn't time. put it past them if McConaughey like. It was from lightly that, based. Know? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. yeah I guess you, yeah. You I want right. to dive into it once we finish the season to see like how his his acting was for it because, dude, it looks like he was up for like two days and did that scene, you know? Yeah. Because I I they, believe he's a method actor. Yeah, he yeah. lost hell away for Dallas Buyers Club. I mean, I'm with it. Uh, yeah, and I, I don't want to look up anything because you know. Yeah, yeah. We'll wait yeah. till it's over. Yeah. I have yeah. already know enough from looking up like on YouTube, like you know, I'm looking up uh, to see if someone else has done a reaction. There, you know how you, like this is an example let's say you watch xyz show and there's a guy named john so you look up xyz john xyz john's death like you're like fuck man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. i don't i didn't see anything that like oh yeah just yeah. to that but i did see something that i was like ah, whatever I, I guess i you know i wish i didn't see that but it's really not that big of a deal yeah, yeah. and it, it, you know now that i've seen the first episode i'm sure it's not like it. when you digest going well. especially when you digest it and you think you saw something and then it hits you you almost forget about it when you're in the moment watching the show so it won't hit you in the face so hard. Yeah, and it wasn't that it wasn't like a really big deal. It was really minor. Yeah. It wasn't like a big plot. Like this person died or anything. It was very, very tame. So yeah. I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to the first. The, 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 the first season's money, man. So I, I think it only gets better in my opinion. But um, it's just like the first episode. It's really good acting and it's good storytelling. And storytelling, like, it's, it's storytelling is where it's always at. You this know? is what I like. It's like you know, I've said it multiple times on the channel. I'm not big on CGI, crazy effects. I I love this kind of. I you know, I love this. Well, I guess I love dramas and you know, yeah, I'm, 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 shit. I'm, I'm there too, man. Uh, I, I like dramas, especially like you said, good storytelling. Yeah. Acting is just a plus. You know, if you have a good story, any no no name actor can carry the story. But yeah, but, you have everything. Yeah, you yeah. you got to have a good actor. Fucking elevates it, man. And that's what McConaughey does in Woody Harrison, right, man? Ooh. That was a reaction. That was a review. Stay tuned for episode two in the future. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. I'm already ready. Do more things. Catch you on the next one.